Hello everyone, what is up, Miss er, hello my little pretties, it's your mistress of Channel Linus here. And today we are re going to do um, the Q&A video. Now, for those of you who have been on my channel for a long time, I want to thank you so much for leaving me questions. Just before I get started, that I will be doing this once a month, so everyone can ask me different questions however way they want and stuff. Okay. Let me, I wrote them down on a piece of paper because I don't have my mom's computer with me at the moment. So, let's get started. Smiley Bone Fan asks me, what movie am I excited for this year? Um, I don't really know, to be honest. I would have to say the Mulan movie. Like, I know some people really don't like the live-action Mulan movie, but I think it's going to be a pretty decent movie. So, that's a movie I'm pretty excited of as a live action Disney remake this year, as far as I know. And that's question one, all done. Question two is, what is my favorite Pixar movie? Um, yet again, that's a very hard one because I do love a lot of uh, Disney Pixar movies. Well, I would have to say my most favorite out of all, I do like the Toy Story movies. I find the Toy Story movies to be pretty good. But one of my most favorite Disney Pixar movies I would have to say Coco. I know Coco was sad at bits of it, but I actually found that to be a very cute movie. So that's one. That's another. That's question two. That taken care of. Uh, what is my favorite curry pasta I have made? I know I made a lot of bad ones, but I do like the funny pasta. So the funny pastas I the best one I've written so far is Pepito's Diarrhea. But for Korean pasta wise, I would have to say the Scooby Doo on Zombie Island one because that one is was another one along with the along with Tarzan nineteen ninety eight. I think that one's my most favorite because that's like the ba very best, better Korean pastas than the other Korean pastas I've written. But it's not that I don't have anything against them, but some of them can be you know quite trash. Okay, it's Jeffrey asked me, have I heard heard of or play Batman? Arkham games. The answer is no, I don't play Batman. Well, I used to watch Batman a lot, but not really as much as I used to. I don't know why. I just never liked the Batman games. Well, the show I liked, but I just never played the game, so games, so that's one question. Down. Do I have a job and if I do, what is my current job? Um, I do don't have a job at the moment. I did back when I used to live with my dad before my mom and mom separated with him and stuff. I used to work at a Ryan stable. And that was just so uh, that way I could, you know, just that that's just another thing. That's a thing of work that I have done in the past. And I don't have a job right now, but I'm hopefully maybe to get one maybe in the future. But I'm not planning on getting a job right now, but in the future I might think about doing that. What's my what is my favorite game console? That is another hard question because I like a lot of game consoles. I like the Xbox 360. I like uh, the original Xbox, the PS2. I think I would have to say the Xbox One because I you know because there was a lot of game consoles. I can't decide which one do I like the most. So that's kind of very hard to say. Do I prefer summer or winter? I do like the winter because of Christmas and the holiday Christmas holidays and stuff. But I would have to say I prefer the summer because, well, one of them being my birthday's in the summer, and that's that's one. And two that I'm going to say is that I won't have to worry about the cold. That's why I like about the summer is because I don't have to worry about, you know, the cold weather and stuff like that. Unless you're living like in Antarctica, which nobody lives there, by the way. Okay. Okay, let's read another comic. Now we're going to read one by Brian Griffin. Brian Griffin asked, do I like Futurama? Um, I've seen Futurama, but I haven't seen it in a long time. And I'm not that crazy on Futurama. I It's okay. I don't have anything against it. Like, it's fine if you guys like it, but I'm not that crazy on Futurama. It's okay, though. I don't have anything against it. And Brian Griffin asked me, do I like King of the Hill? I've seen a few parts of King of the Hill, and I actually found that to be actually a pretty good show, so I might actually consider watching the show. Don't don't I like PewDiePie? He asked me. Um, I don't really 
really care for PewDiePie? Well, I used to watch him a lot, like, years ago. I used to watch him a lot. But right now, I just don't watch him too much. Well, occasionally I would, but I don't watch him too much, as much as I used to. So, yeah. I don't have anything against him. It's just I don't really care for him that much. Like, I don't really care of watching his videos. I'm not trying to sound rude. How did I find the Shadow Reader? Well, funny story enough, it was 2017. I think it was around September. I was scrolling through YouTube looking for some creepypasta, you know, videos, you know, related to people reading stories just to have me relax while I was eating dinner. And I somehow came across Shadow Reader's channel when he was reading a story called Are You As Hungry As I Am? I'm going to have to ask Shadow Reader if I can re-narrate that story. I'll have to ask him if I can do that. So maybe on his next live stream or something. But yeah, I would have to say that is how I came across the Shadow Reader. So that's how I became inspired by the Shadow Reader. And by the way, shout out to the Shadow Reader. Alright, what is my favorite color? Well, my favorite color is purple, but I also like blue as well. So blue and purple are kind of like my favorite colors. Blurs in that area. Okay, how did I start YouTube? Lots of people have been asking me about that, so I'm going to answer this the best and honest answer as I can. Now, one thing I'm going to say how I start YouTube is I had this channel since 20, 2012, and I didn't upload too much. I uploaded, you know, cringy stuff like toys and stuff like that and Briar videos. But then I'm like, and I did some little pet shop videos and that, and I deleted them because I'm like, Oh, they're cringe-worthy. I don't want anyone to see too much cringe on my channel. So, yeah, I know I started YouTube sometime in 20, 2000, in 2012, but I didn't really use it that much because I've been busy with school and stuff like that. Okay, Bayonet asked me two questions. Could I pay him and pay you in advance, he asked. I unfortunately don't have money right now and I'm broke, so there's no reason why I would pay him in advance. Like, if I could, I would. But I don't have the money right now, so. Who is my favorite musician, he asked me. Uh, that would have to be very hard because there's a lot of them I do like, but I do like the Cranberries. I like other ones as well, but the Cranberries is pretty cool. And by the way, people rest in peace on the lead singer of the Cranberries. Like, she died suddenly, if you guys did not know that. She died, I think, in 2016. I'm pretty sure she died in that year, but I could be wrong. And if I am wrong, people, just le let me know in the comments below. Now, oh, excuse me. William Waldrip, Waldrip99 asked me five questions, six questions. Number one is, well, who is my favorite character from Spongebob? That would have to be Patrick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is Patrick, to be honest. Yes, I love Patrick. I could even do his voice, and his impression's like the easiest to do. Okay, number two. What is my favorite curry pasta? Um, my favorite curry pasta, that would have to be Lost Episodes Can Still Be Found. That one is a really good story, and I also really like that story. But another curry pasta I really like that people get copyright strikes on there, and this it's the reason why I'm not going to narrate it, and that is 1999. I don't know why people are getting copyright strikes for it, but I'm not narrating that story because I don't want to lose my channel. I don't want to go through that crap again. But it's a good story, I have to say. Those two stories are my favorite, but I think 1999 was a really good one. Like, it's frightening, but it's pretty good. I highly recommend you check out that uh, pasta, you know, in the Cree Pasta forum. But I wouldn't recommend narrating it for YouTube. Like I just mentioned before. Okay, number three. Do I like drawing? Yeah, I do like to draw time to time. There are some times where I don't like drawing, but other times I don't mind drawing. So that's something I could really could really say right now. Cats or dogs? I do have two cats and I do have a dog, which I know is Bear, my dog. You guys have seen him in my videos and live streams. Some of you guys may have. Now, cats and dogs, that's kind of a hard question because I like them both. I could say I just like them both because they're really cute animals. Now, number five. Am I a morning person or a night person? That's very funny, to be honest, because some nights I'm a night person. You know, I like to be up late at night. And then there's some days that I'm more of a morning person. You know, 
Funny enough, sometimes when I'm a night person, I'm usually, you know, not a morning person. But when I'm a morning person a few time, a few days, I'm not a night person. So it's kind of like, you know, one day I'm a night person, one day I'm a, I'm a morning person. So, yeah. What is my favorite movie? Um, that is kind of hard because there's like a lot of good movies. I would have to say The Lion King, like the live action Lion King movie. I actually found that good of 2019. It's fine if you don't guys don't like that. That's just your opinion. But that's just my opinion on it. So I just thought I would just, you know, just go with the flow and, you know, keep going. Okay. Gotcha Fanboy 91 asked me two questions. Oh, three questions. One is, what is my favorite holiday season? I like Halloween, but I also like Christmas. I think I do like Christmas the most, though. I like Christmas the most because I get more presents. Halloween is pretty cool, too, because I like candy. Number two, what is my favorite musical instrument? Um, to be honest, I don't play the instruments that well. I don't play them too much. I would only play the keyboard that is toy keyboard. I would only play the keyboard. But I'm terrible at instruments, so I've never played any instruments. And I'm not that crazy on instruments playing either, and I've never took lessons for that. If I might maybe we'll do that one day, but that's hard to say. Number three. Have I ever worn a leather jacket? Um, I've never worn a... Well, I think I have worn a leather jacket once when I was younger, but I honestly can't remember when was the last time I did wear a leather jacket. But I heard they can be very expensive, so that's why I've never got one. Now... Calvin YouTuber 15,000 asked me three questions. One is, what made me do YouTube? Well, what made me do YouTube is basically by the Shadow Reader. Like, after I graduated high school and I started watching more Shadow Reader's videos, I decided to become a creepypasta narrator, start reading creepypastas and fanfictions and stuff. That's what inspired me to do YouTube. And that's what made me is because the Shadow Reader inspired me to do it. And number two, he asked me, how did I find find his channel? Well, I found his channel through, you know, you know, when I was scrolling through, you know, subscribers just to sub to them, just to give them support. And I found, and I found you, Calvin. So I'm like, this guy deserves a lot of support. Even smaller YouTubers that are starting up, they need support too. So I'm supporting him. Is my, is your is my content good, he asked me. And I have to say this, your content's really good, Calvin. I really do support you for everything that you do. And I really hope you can continue to make your content as good, as good as it gets. Gets. And keep up the good work. And I know you will get up there one day like Shadow Reader and so many other YouTubers. Alright. Now, Bailey Maloney asked me... Me pretty much, pretty much a bunch of questions. <laughs> okay, number one is, what's or who inspired me me to read creepypastas and fanfictions? Um, to answer your question, Bailey, the Shadow Reader has inspired me to narrate creepypastas and fanfictions. The reason why for that is because after reading, hearing Shadow Reader read creepypastas and stuff, I decided to go ahead and decide to do some of that for myself. And I honestly really enjoy doing that. And I still enjoy it today. And that's still going to go on till the day I die. So I'm not giving up on any of the stuff. Number two. What cartoons are like besides Scooby-Doo? That's very hard to say because I know there's a lot of other cartoons I like. I like Madeline. I think that one's a good cartoon as well. I do like Teen Titans. I actually found Teen Titans to be pretty good. Um, there's so many other cartoons I do like that I could mention, but then it would be a half an hour or so long video. Well, it's probably going on a half an hour, but still. That's kind of hard to say because there's a lot of other cartoons I do like. But I do like um, other ones like uh, Teen Titans and stuff like that. Now, number three, which is what cartoons are better? 90s to 2000s or 2010 to now? Excuse me. To answer your question, I love the cartoons from the 90s to the 2000s. Like, those cartoons were really good. Like, that's when TV had really good stuff on TV. But in 2010 to now, 
there's still not, there's nothing good on TV. Like, there's very few shows that are decent or good on TV, but they're just not as popular as they should be. You know, I would have to say the 90s to 2000s. Those shows were amazing. And they were a thousand times better than garbage shows like Teen Titans Go, for example. Okay. Number five. Number four. What gaming consoles do I have? Well, I could say this because this is a very long, long, um, thing. Now, one I could say right now, one of them being, I do have an Xbox One. I have an Xbox 360. I have a PlayStation 2. I have the original Xbox. I have a Wii. I have, my brother has a Nintendo Switch, so I guess that still counts even though I don't play it. I do have a DS, a 2DS, and I have a DSi. So I kind of have like maybe almost 10 consoles. So <laughs> that's kind of a lot of consoles that I do have if you ask me. <laughs> okay, and number five is what is my favorite color? Okay, I'm going to say this again because I've already said it before is blue. I do like blue, but I also like purple. So those two colors are my favorite. All right, All right? Kitten Paw Studios asks me, when did I came across the Walking Dead game? If you mean the Telltale series, well, basically when I came across it was, I think it was in 2012, I was scrolling through, you know, kind of like YouTube, looking for some zombie games that I might be interested in watching, and I actually found the Walking Dead Telltale series, and I actually really love the series. Like, the series is really good. I know some people don't like it, which is fine, that's their opinion, but I actually found it to be a really good series. So that's when I came across The Walking Dead. The Telltale series was 2000 in, in 12. Now, number two. Where's my first fan fiction I ever wrote? Um, I would have to say this one was... Okay, guys, this is a, actually a crappy fan fiction. And I don't recommend anyone reading it because it's so bad. And that one have to be... It's a Scooby-Doo fan fiction. I can't obviously remember the title. But... It was a Scooby-Doo fan fiction I tried to write. And it is garbage because of the grammar. The grammar was awful. And yeah, that was back when I... I wrote that when I was like 14, I think. But that was the ever first fan fiction I have ever wrote. Okay. I like Ashley Armbruster. Sir asked me, what are, my, what are some shows I hate? Well, I hate Teen Titans Go. I never liked Teen Titans Go. Be Cool Scooby-Doo is actually one of them that I don't like. Uh, Mr. Pickles. You guys should probably have seen my discussion videos on that. Um, The Ben 10 Reboot Series. That sucked as well. And I think that's it. Like, I know there's a, mainly the reboot shows really get on my nerves. But, like, those with bad animation and stuff like that. So, that's actually one of the reasons why I hate some of those shows. And number two is, do I like cheese? Yes, I do like cheese, and I've never met a person who never liked cheese. Well, except for people who are vegan and vegetarian. That I can understand. That I could totally understand. All right. Matthew Bumford asked me, whoa, a bunch of questions. Number one, what was the first, first Shadow Reader video I've watched? Well, the first Shadow Reader video I've watched when I came across this channel back in 2017 that one would have to be the Are You As Hungry As I Am Part 1 and Part 2. That was actually, those videos were actually really good. And I really love the Shatter Eater's videos. Like, his videos are just amazing. Like, it's amazing when I watch them. Number two. Got an Xbox or Atari? Uh, I do have an Xbox, but I don't know what an Atari is. So, if you can explain what an Atari is, Matthew Bumford, I will be able to understand better. Uh, oh, excuse me. My favorite movie, video game, and TV show. Okay. My favorite movie, I know I said before, was The Lion King, the remake. But I think my other favorite movie, I would have to say, would have to be The Lion King 2 Simba's Pride. That one was a really, that one was a great movie. My favorite video game would have to be, um, I'm trying to think. I think the Halo series. The Halo series was pretty good, too. Even though some people may not like it. That's fine. And my favorite TV show would have to be, besides Scooby-Doo, would have to be Teen Titans. Teen Titans was a great show as well. 
I really do adore that. And no, people, I did not say Teen Titans Go. Okay, now number four, her Matthew Bumford asked, Do I plan to make a YouTube to make YouTube a full-time career? If I was monetized by now, I definitely would. I might monet I'm thinking about probably monetizing my channel one day. Like, I do want to monetize my channel one day, so I might make YouTube a career for me in the future. If I get, you know, lots more subs. Which I hope so in the future. And my and his last question is, what was my channel called before the Shadow Linus? Okay. Just to let you guys know, when I started my channel back in 2012, my channel was actually my real name. Like, my first real name and my last real name. And my last name. The reason why I changed it to a couple other things, I think there was one that said Nightmare Rose Dawson. And then another one was Jazzy Loves Izzy. And then there was another one that said Jill Valentine. Yeah. Those were the channels that my... That I changed them into instead of my real name because I didn't want anyone to find my identity out. And and I certainly am glad I did that because, you know, it's cringeworthy. Okay, Sir Whore asked me, what is the goal that I'm looking for word, word most into my life? In my life. Okay, the goal that I'm looking forward to in my life would have to be... Having my channel monetized. Like, I would love to monetize my channel one day when I get to the amount of subscribers. First. Because I like to... I want to monetize my channel one day. Because I know Shadow Reader is monetizing his channel. And I do want to monetize my channel one day. So that's one thing I could definitely say what I'm looking forward to in my life. Now, CJLeeBoy64 asked me, What software do I use on my phone for videos? I use the camera um to make videos as of now. So, on t because I could I can't really find any much good software for my phone to, you know, so I can make videos. Either they don't work on me or they just mess up my camera or something. That is the reason why I don't have any software for it at the moment besides my camera option, which I'm hoping I could find something that's pretty decent or works decently for my phone. Now, number two, do I plan to make a Jinx video? Do I have a Jinx video planned for Easter? Um, I will be doing a Jinx uh, Easter video, and that will be coming out on Easter Sunday, which will be in April. So be sure you are tuned for that. All right. With that being said, let's read this one. Vanilla Rabbit Lover 2001 asked me, What inspired me to be a YouTube user? Uh, what inspired me to be the YouTube user the most would have to be the Shatter Eaters Creepypastas. Like, his channel inspired me to, you know, start my own YouTube, you know, career in the future. Which, I want my YouTube to be a career one day. And another question that this user asked me is, what is my favorite shape? I do like hearts and diamonds and moon, moon crescents, but I also like, uh, hearts. I think I said hearts already, but I don't care. I like all the shapes. All shapes are pretty cool. Like, I don't have a specific one, so that's kind of hard to say. And Vanilla Rabbit Lover asked me, what is my date of birth? All right. My date of birth, I know this is kind of personal, and I know I shouldn't be sharing this, but I'm going to say right now, I was born... You know what? Some of you guys may already know. My birthday was... I was born in... On March, on August 10th, 1998. That is my birthday. Just to let you guys know. Alright. The BC Network asked me, What is my opinion on Paw Patrol and the new Nick Jr.? To be honest, I never really liked Paw Patrol, but I have to admit, the pops are cute, but I just don't like the show in general. The show just lost its magic. And the new Nick Jr., I have to say right now, I didn't like the new Nick Jr. Like, I like the old one, but the new one just is just boring, in my opinion. And another question is, what are my favorite creepastas written by the Shadow Reader? Okay, um, my favorite creepastas that the Shadow Reader has written would have to be the Playtime is Over. I know some of you guys probably don't like it because it's dark in that. 
But I really liked that story. Like, that story was actually really good. Like, it was really well written and stuff. That's something I could definitely say why I like it. Now, the first question BC Network asked me is, do I want to do a Jinx collab with me, with him in Austin? BC Network, I'm going to definitely say right now that I do want to do a Jinx collaboration video with you in Austin. We will... I'm sure me and Jinx can think of a way to do that one day. Like, you could just let me know about what video you want to do it on. And we'll we'll talk from there. Okay, Harrison Die asked me, What's my opinion on the live act on live action Disney remakes? On my opinion, some of the Disney live action remakes that I've seen are actually pretty decent. I think there's one that sucked, but I can't remember which one that it was. But I could really say some of the live action Disney remakes are pretty decent. I can definitely say some of them are pretty decent at that point. So that's one thing I could definitely say. Tyler and Terry Harry asked me, what was my favorite movie as a child? Um, my favorite movie as a child, I do like The Lion King. But I since I already said that and Lion King 2, I would have to say my favorite movie as a child would have to be... Rudolph the Red Nosed Ranger the movie. Now that's the one made in two thousand in nineteen ninety eight, and that one is actually the the well the one the Rudolph movie with uh, John Goodman. So that one was actually my favorite as a kid because I remember having you know really good memories of watching it on VHS, and I think I still have it on VHS. I obviously don't remember, but I think I still have it. But it's probably buried in all of my stuff since the move, so, yeah. Eric Movie Bus asked me, what is my favorite video of his posted on his channel? Uh, to be honest, Eric Movie Buff, I have not checked out your channel yet. But I'm hopefully, hoping to get to it very soon. But I just have never had time to do so. But I'm hoping I could do, do, take a look at them in a bit. Or whenever, so... Okay, and the last question is the last question by Eric Movie Buff. What do I think about the Eric Movie Jack EP? Um, I'm going to be honest. I've never heard of it. So if you can explain to me what that is, then that would actually be really good. All right, people, that's all the questions I have today. So I will be doing another Q&A video, but it will be next month. So thank you so much for watching. And like always, peace out, and I'll see you all later.